Hello and welcome to my new short video about how to make the scientific illustration in the Photoshop using um, Wacom Art Pad called Intuos. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we're gonna use this uh, device to make the illustration. And as I said um, before to your folks, it's important as a researcher to show and publish your um, investigation, your data, and in terms of uh, scientific value of taxonomic work, you need to, or it's optional to provide the uh, graphics in uh, Stiplin technique for that. Right now I'm gonna show you um, like draft uh, way or draft journey uh, how to make the illustration of Gliacopsa decorticans uh, and we, we will assume that we're gonna submit this thing to the International Journal of Systematics and Evolutionary, if Evolutionary Microbiology Journal. It's not high, very high impact factor but it's a pretty good journal. And let's see, so we go into the uh, Chris uh, database, click to the Cyana Pro, go to the search photos, and we spell Gliacopsa. Gliacopsa decorticans. It's here, it's popped up. Uh, you click apply, and you, you download it as a save image. We save it, um, and um, my strategy of doing this, uh, you should check the uh, appropriate sizes and parameters for plates in the journal, uh, in appropriate journal where you're gonna publish. In, in our case, we open a new, new file in the Photoshop and for that you can click Ctrl N and here I already uh, save this pattern it's the requirement sizes for um, that journal um, I usually make the new layer and you can see it here and um, you can just drag uh, your no no it's better to actually uh, click on the uh, picture which you save, which we saved, and open it in Photoshop. So uh, here we have uh, lock sign, and we unlock it, and we check it using this tool, and we copy it and paste it here. Um, what I prefer to do, um, I'm gonna just approximately divide. Uh, this page to six um, parts using the guidelines for that you just click on the ruler and drag it down and uh, I found it to be useful and actually this layer you can just make white for that we're doing this um, while I'm doing six uh, drawings in one plate because it's easy to read firstly and it's just it's look look it look good and we like approximately we'll do four pieces um, and we go to layer two where we have our um, image of Gliacopsa and we put it here and we expand it um, because we're gonna need nice scale. Uh, wh what is what is the advantages of Photoshop? Uh, is that you can even you have a lot of pictures in your plate. You may uh, make each each layer for each of them, and you can zoom in and go into the details. Right now I'm zooming in and um, let's start to work with, um, with, the, uh, with the pad. Um, I'm going to press uh, B 
its brush tool uh, and I, I created new layer for uh, this image not to do it on here because if you will uh, make some image here oops if you're gonna remove it you will remove it with together with the image background image it's not good that's why we're going to uh, layer number three here I prefer uh, for cell well I prefer to use three uh, pixels wide uh, brush um, yeah for that you should press B or go here and press brush and I'm making it like this actually this uh, image is huge and we can uh, change it a little bit we can make it at 5 I think or 6 yeah it's gonna be 5 um, and in the path you you just do like this and this you connect them um, I'm in rush and I'm not gonna make it good but for for your um, information and to to make it good you can do something like this you can make a quick sketch and you can just make it like five pixels this one gonna be three pixels and outer layer gonna be one make two of them and you make kind of label one pixel okay and let's do I will put three in here and actually you can make a little uh, discounting discontinuities like this and like this here we will do two layers to make to make it good and it should not be in, in very cartoonish way and very regular because it looks um, very cartoonish and we're gonna make the last last layer like this and I prefer to make steeples in in probably three um, so for that we can zoom it out zoom it in and actually for here we can use the eraser tool and just just make it more appealing so we go to brush and make some steeples actually for here we can use another one another uh, bigger we can use bigger uh, brush for that anyways I'll fix this one real quick and brush again and make some color to just check what we got we can zoom it out and remove and just make uh, layer number two invisible and right now we have pretty ugly <laughs> uh, picture of gliacopsis decorticans but you can see that it has rounded it has rounded cells and tra transparent sheath and all of that thank you for watching um, and goodbye. Uh.